My name is Karen Rose, and my most recent book is called Closer Than You Think. And Closer Than You Think is set in Cincinnati, Ohio, which is in the Midwest of the United States. Um, South, it's in Southeast Ohio. And many years ago, it was considered the gateway to the West, back in colonial days, the 1700s. Um, it's a nice town. It's a nice town to raise kids. Not a fancy place to visit. Um, but I lived there for 15 years and called it home, and uh, in, in my mind, it's still very much one of, one of my hometowns. Um, the hero in Closer Than You Think is Deacon Novak, who was originally introduced in Did You Miss Me, one of the Baltimore series. And Deacon is a FBI agent and has uh, come home to Cincinnati where he grew up because his brother's in trouble. And he is afraid that without his intervention, his brother, his teenage brother, is going to be um, in such trouble that he might have to arrest him someday, or someone like him might have to arrest his brother. So he's come home to take care of his brother and uh, is now part of a joint task force between the FBI and the Cincinnati Police Department. And, it's, and uh, his partner is called Scarlett Bishop, and she's a homicide detective with Cincinnati PD. The heroine of the story is named Faith Corcoran, and uh, Faith is a psychologist and has um, been working in Miami, not, not in a position that she's wanted to be, a position she's found herself to be in over the years, where she has been counseling sex offenders as, their, as a condition of their parole or probation. Um, Faith's job is very much like my husband's job was when he worked in Cincinnati, where he took on one uh, sex offender, had some success with it, and pretty soon he found us all the clients he was getting until one day one of them tried to kill him and he actually left the profession for good. Um, there's a lot of parallels between my husband's story and Faith's story. She's been stalked by one of her former clients and uh, has decided to run to the one place she doesn't think anybody will look for her. It's a house that factors in all of her nightmares, a um, house that she has just recently inherited from her grandmother in Cincinnati. And it's on the east side of town in an area that's still um, fairly forested. Uh, and uh, it's uh, right on the river. So there's a river view. There's the, 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 the Ohio River factors very much into this story. Um, and so Faith has gone home thinking that she will be safe from the man who's been stalking her. What Faith doesn't know is that the house has been used as a killer's playground for many years. And she and Deacon are about to stumble on some pretty, um, some pretty horrific sights. And then you'll just have to read the rest to find out what happens.